In Activity 1, The Five Senses, students observe that our senses allow us to take in and respond to information in order to learn about our world. In this activity, students use the five senses of sight, hearing, touch, smell, and taste to explore objects and identify the body part or sense organ associated with each sense. From the kit, you will need Activity Sheet 1, Cotton Balls, Pheasant Feathers, Large Pine Cones, Pieces of sandpaper, plastic trays, about me big book, marker, odor boxes, each with a top and bottom, body and senses poster, and a roll of masking tape. You will also need to provide crackers, pieces of fruit such as an apple or a banana, small paper plate, small objects to observe such as wooden blocks, crayons, and colored pencils fabric swatches, marbles, and shells, bottles of food extract, such as mint, lemon, banana, or vanilla, and a bottle of floral scented perfume or shampoo. To prepare for session one, for each team of two, assemble a tray of five or six objects to explore using the senses. Each tray should contain a pheasant feather, large pine cone, sandpaper square, and cotton ball from the kit. You may also include one or two small objects of your choice. Make sure all trays contain examples of the same objects and assemble an extra set of objects to use as you lead the class discussion. To begin session one, gather students together and describe to them how your day began, incorporating all five senses. For example, you could say, I heard my footsteps as I walked down the hallway. I saw the door. I grabbed the doorknob. It felt cold. I pushed the door open and heard it close. I sat at my desk and poured a glass of orange juice. It tasted sweet. Ask students to think about their day at school so far. Ask questions pertaining to their senses, such as, what did you see on your way to school? What sounds did you hear? Did you smell or taste anything for breakfast? Ask questions pertaining to our five senses, sight, hearing, touch, smell, and taste and explain to the class that these senses allow us to get information about the world and learn about things that are around us. Next, distribute a tray of objects to each team and give them time to explore the objects. Define the word object for the class as a thing we can see or touch. Let students know that they can handle the objects any way they wish, but that they should never taste an item or put anything in their mouths in science class unless instructed to do so by the teacher. Initiate a class discussion as to how students can use their senses to learn about the objects by asking, look at this object, what do you see? Touch the object, how does it feel? Does the object make a sound? What do you hear? Next, point to several objects around the room and for each object, ask students, what senses would we use to learn about this object? Answers will vary. However, students will most likely suggest seeing or looking at an object. If this is the case, encourage students to think about how they could use the other senses to learn about an object. To track the student's sensory experiences, begin a five senses experience chart and review the words see, hear, and touch, and write these words on the chart. Students may also use the words such as sight, sound, listen, and feel to describe the senses. As students describe how they would observe and explore objects with these senses, note key words and add them to the chart in the appropriate categories. To prepare for Session 2, make a copy of Activity Sheet 1 for each student and post the body and senses poster where all students can easily see it. Prepare four odor boxes. Use masking tape and a marker to label boxes one through four for the different scents. Put about 10 drops of a food extract on a cotton ball. Place the cotton ball in odor box one and cover the box with the lid. Repeat this process with the other two extracts for odor boxes two and three. For the fourth box, place a cotton ball dabbed with floral scented perfume or shampoo. Next, Prepare a small paper plate with a small cracker and a piece of fruit for each student and one for yourself. Make sure you are aware of any food allergies when making your food and extract choices. In session one, students use their senses of sight, hearing, and touch to explore objects. 
In session two, students will experience the senses of smell and taste. To begin session two, distribute an odor box to each team and explain that they will not be able to see, hear, feel, or taste what's inside the box. Ask students, how can we find out about what is inside? Students might respond that we can use our noses or sense of smell to gain information about the odor boxes. Demonstrate the procedure for smelling a substance and waft the odor towards the nose with the hand rather than sniffing directly. Then have students smell their boxes and share their observations. Instruct teams to swap boxes so that everyone has a chance to smell and identify all four scents. Emphasize to the class that a sense of smell is one of the ways we learn about the world around us. Next, distribute a paper plate containing a cracker and a piece of fruit to each student and invite students to eat the cracker and share which scents they are using. The students should understand that they are using the sense of taste. Ask the class what the cracker looked like, how it felt between their fingers, what it smelled like, and what sound they heard when they bit and chewed it. Encourage students to recognize that we often use more than one sense at a time to learn about the world around us. Repeat this process with the piece of fruit. Lead students to recognize that eating is an activity that uses all five senses. Next, draw students' attention to the photographs on the Body and Senses poster and elicit from the students that the five senses use different parts of the body. We see with our eyes. We hear with our ears. We touch with our hands, fingers, or skin. We smell with our noses. We taste with our mouths or tongues. Add these sense organs to the five senses experience chart by drawing pictures of the eyes, ears, hand, nose, and mouth, and write the names of each body part. To reinforce the names of these and other body parts, teach the action song, Head, Shoulders, Knees, and Toes. Students should identify and touch each body part as the body part name is sung. After singing Head, Shoulders, Knees, and Toes, as a class, distribute Activity Sheet 1 and help students complete it. To conclude the activity, discard the cotton balls and used paper plates. Wash and dry the odor boxes and return them, along with the other materials, to the kit. Leave the body and senses poster and the experience chart posted in the classroom throughout the unit. For science background, reinforcement activities, curriculum connections, and information about the Delta Science readers, please consult your DSM Teacher's Guide.